Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tiveron here and welcome back to Slime Rancher where we have managed our plorts and whatnot and I actually managed to even catch some more phosphor slimes so we're going to see if we can't set up a breeding situation for those guys we need a corral we want high walls we want an air net and we still have a little money left over so awesome Let's put these guys and or gals in there and then let's force them to become Largos. Awesome. Come on, eat it. There you go. There you go. And I don't actually have any food for them at present. I suppose I can get them some carrots here that haven't been consumed by these guys. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Gotta switch my vac over. There you go. Get that going. I think we're off to a good start here. How much are the glowy plorts worth? Come here. Come here. Do want to get auto plort collectors and auto feeders on all of these things, so we may actually hold off on getting more new types of slimes until we can get what we have already going a bit more efficiently. Let's see, we're full on pink ones, but we can get the boom ones if we can manage to do it safely. Oh. Ouch! So they can hit me even through the walls there. And they do a lot of damage, unfortunately. There we go. All right, well, that was an adventure. Let's go turn these in. I know the bloom, the bloom, the boom plorts are worth 70 something cash, which is quite nice, much better than anything else we've got going. The phosphor ones, where are that, are 36? I mean, that's okay. Go ahead and turn in the pink ones. Looks like the boom plorts are even. They're not going up or down, which is fine by me. And we've already got almost a thousand more. Uh, let's go ahead and get an auto feeder on these guys. Since it's been a long time coming, they were our very first slimes and they have been the last to receive upgrades. Don't have quite enough to get. Well, how much is an auto plort collector 500 also? Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, yes it is. Don't have quite enough for that, but we can probably get it. To get that going on our boom slimes. Relatively quickly here. Take these Q-berries away from these guys. Make sure we feed our more profitable ones first. I know that sounds callous, but you know, this is a business. And we have to make business wise decisions. Get those. We can hold one more pink one. Up all night. Oh, this, this is the first night that we haven't gone to sleep at all. That's cool, I guess. New Starmel from Casey, who has a crush on us, or maybe we were actually involved in the past. It's a bit hard to tell from the mails that we've got from him. We're going to hold off on that for now. Let's see, Q berries. I think these may be the favorite foods of the phosphor slime. Let's see. Yeah, Q berries are their favorite, so we'll make sure and give those to them. Don't think the boom slimes have a favorite, do they? They just like meat. Oh no, briar hens. I've not seen a briar hen. I've seen hen hens and stony hens. Let's see. Here's you some berries. Let's go ahead and give all those to you guys since those are your favorites. We need an auto plort collector here. Nice. That should help us 
not get blowed up by these guys in future, one would hope. Okay, so what else can we do? Tasty? Don't know what that achievement means. Guess we fed favorites to enough slimes? The one, the foods they like the best? Let's just farm up some plorts here. Get everything fully upgraded and then we'll do some more exploration. Alright, so we've got a little bit more cash now, and I also managed to ca catch a roostro and a hen hen, so let's see if we can get our chicken farming going here. We'll take it a while to get up to the point that we can start feeding them, but if we feed these guys their favorites, they will give us more plorts. And the hens, the stony hens actually I think are the favorites of the tabby, which, you know, we may be able to get eventually. Let's give these guys some carrots here. I'm keeping it on medium. Again, I'm just not sure about the proper speed to be feeding these. Collect what is available. Excellent. There we go. I think these guys are actually maybe getting fed a little too quickly here. Let's go ahead and suck up the carrots and things that are in here. Or some of them. Oh, we don't have a, a place. A Q-berry there. Let's feed that to these guys. There you go. Don't actually think we need to feed the chickens. I think they just forage for themselves. There we go. And we have enough to get another plort collector going. So we will do that definitely want to keep our slimes happy and not let them starve. Looks like our Q-berry plant has gone the way of the dodo. Uh, hopefully there's still a Q-berry lying around. There is. Let's grab it before it gets eaten. That was almost a minor disaster. As I've not actually seen the Q-berry plant in the wild, I found the one that started that from a little wooden box, I believe. Go ahead and get these in here to feed these guys. Let's see, their favorites are Q-berries, right? Or no, their favorites are Q-berries. Right, that's why there's so many in there. Well, let's get an auto plort collector. Sweet. Go ahead and... Don't know why I gave them some carrots. They've still got Q-berries lying in there, but it's done now, I suppose. Hopefully we've got some plorts to collect. Um, well, it's being a little slow about the collecting, but that's fine. Eventually it will vacuum them up. We've got other things to do in the meantime, rather than wasting our time trying to suck up all of the plorts in a Largo cage. It's a little frustrating, to be honest. That's why I'm so high on the auto collectors. Come on, guys. Make some chicks for me. It's what you're in there for. Any collected over here? Yes, indeed. Excellent. How'd you get out? Get back in there. Am I going to have to put an air net on these guys too? Yeah, they are trying to get out. That's not good. I don't need my slimes escaping from me after I've put so much work into getting their pins built up. Here's another one of those platforms. What are these? 
I wonder if that is something that I need a vac upgrade to use. Let's see, water tank. We need that for the puddle slimes, I think. Jetpack lets us fly. Dash boots uh, reduce energy consumption of sprinting. Pulse wave. Okay, uh, so we can push slimes away. This increases our health. Power core. Boosts our energy. And tank booster lets us hold 30 of everything instead of just 20. That might be useful. Don't see anything in here that would let us open the treasure spheres we found or use these machine platforms. I may just have to open a wiki or something and look up what exactly these things are. Let's get some heartbeats for our rock slimes. Those are their favorites. Looks like we've still got some more growing, so no need to save any of them for now. There we go. Keep these guys all happy. We'll just let those collect for now. We will take one more look inside here and see if our plort collectors have worked. If so, we'll collect those, turn them in, and then we'll do a little bit more exploration. Maybe try to start feeding one of those other gigantic slimes to open more areas. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm supposed to go over to the auto collector. Why is this not vacuuming up the plorts? I don't understand oh I have to turn it on ah I can do it on my own I did not know that that is a useful bit of knowledge so we don't have to just wait for it to trigger on its own we can trigger it when we want it to work excellent good information and this should be a ton of money here Unless the phosphor and bloom ports bloom. I keep wanting to say bloom. Boom ports. Little tongue twistery. Have drastically dropped in value. Also another bit of a tongue twister. Drastically dropped. The plort, blort, bloom. Drastically dropped into the bloom. Or something to that effect. Right. The boom ones are holding steady, and the uh, phosphor ones are actually going up in value. That's awesome. Got another thousand cash to spend. Uh, let's harvest our carrots here. Don't know where this pink slime came from that's bouncing around in our carrots, but you know, we'll deal with that in the most efficient of manners. Just get out of here. I only want... Oh! What? What are you doing? Get out of here! Get out! Doggone it! Where'd you come from? How'd you get into my... farm? Where are you guys coming from? Oh my god! Stop it! Get out! Get... Why can I not... There you go. I'm about to die too. There's another one. They're destroying my ranch. What? Why is this happening? Come here. Get. Where are you coming from? Oh, darn it. Get away. Oh, this is awful. Everything's destroyed. Where did these... I don't understand where these came from. Yeah, I know. Oh, we can kill them. Can we kill them? Can I dash them on something? No, apparently not. I did dash that one. 
Get away from here. Jeez Louise, my whole operation is destroyed. Oh, maybe that's what the mail that I haven't read yet was about. Oh my God, please tell me they're not in the cave. Please tell me they're not in the cave. No, but this guy's out of his area for whatever reason. Okay, so I guess not everything is a loss. God damn it. Why did that happen? Was there some way I could have prevented it? You know, on a lighter note, I guess they didn't eat my chickens. They destroyed every freaking slime I had. Did the slimes themselves turn into those? I am very disheartened. Let's go read that mail and see if see if that tells us anything. The death hike. All right, this is from Casey, so this is not about that. Do you remember when you took me hiking? I still don't know. How, I still didn't know how serious you were about the whole outdoors thing then, and your idea of a hike just about killed me. I showed up in normal clothes and shoes, and you were decked out and had a pack and gear. It was a nightmare for me. <laughs> I think it was around the five-mile mark when I was drenched in sweat and ready to collapse that I realized our ideas of fun were two very different things. Also, you weren't even out of breath then, and I still totally hate you for that. Casey. See, this is the rewards club. We can initiate. Rustro Weather Vane for 750? No, thank you. Especially not when I don't know what's causing these black slime monster motherfuckers to appear that are just ruining everything that I've spent so much time building up. Will the Slimepedia tell me anything about those? Are they classified as a slime? The tar. All right, they eat slimes. And favored as ranchers, yeah, they, they do hurt. They're formed when a Largo eats a plort unlike the one it produces. So somehow a plort from another kind got into one of the cages and that set off that, that chain reaction. Oh boy, I gotta be careful about that then. Doggone it. So you can incinerate it or throw it into the sea, or shoot it with fresh water. So that's another reason that we should probably get that water upgrade for our pack. <sighs> Looks like I'm going to be rebuilding, sadly. So we need pink slimes, rock slimes, and tabby slimes. Let's go ahead and set up an auto feeder in the cave here. For each of these so that I don't have to worry about them while I'm undertaking that endeavor. There you are. Keep that on medium speed, I suppose. Fill it up. Grab these plorts. There we go. Well, before I set out to repopulate my farm, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the tank booster. Make us able to carry a little bit more. Do I want anything else? Um, let's try the jetpack. How does that work? Okay, so we jump and hold it. Well, that is awesome. Oh, and it uses our energy. So we need the energy booster to actually be able to fly a little bit more. Well, that's fine. There's a bunch of Luma slimes. Sadly, we're not in need of those. It's the other more common types that we're after at present, the tabbies and the rock slimes. So another Roostro. Oh, 
here's some a rock slime rather not some there's another one good We're, we are going to need some pink plorts to get this whole thing off the ground oh, tabby slime come here before you get changed some more chickens so we might as well suck up some chickens And probably should get rid of the pink plorts because we can just get pink plorts from our other slimes or from some pink slimes. And actually, we may not even want to set up pink slimes this time since all of our Largos produ produce pink plorts anyway. Rock. Come here. Tabby. Oh, stone hens. That's what we want. Stony hens. Those are the favorite of the tabbies. So that is what we want. Ooh, rock. There we go. Five is what we want. Guess we can breed hen hens as well. Another stony. Well, we got five rocks and three tabbies. Not sure if we'll be able to find any more tabbies. And actually, let's just feed the hen hen to this guy. Start getting at least something going on it. Since now we know for certain we don't have to feed the amount to make them explode all in one go. Prove that with the gigantic pink one that we made explode earlier. Love to pick up two more tabbies. It looks like there's some tar beasts here wreaking havoc. Get out. There you go. Guess I could just grab a tabby largo and carry it this way all the way back. And it's a little frustrating. I'm not going to deal with that tar guy. Just let him run rampant and do his thing all on his own. I got too much to deal with on my plate as it is without having to worry about all that shit. Okay. Well. Let's put you in here. There you go. Here's your brethren. I still need one more tabby. Put the rock slimes over here. They've got some heartbeats in there. You guys need to produce some pink plorts for me, please. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get the pink plorts from over. Oh yeah, let's put our stony hens in there. There's some chicks going on. Wonder if we can store the chickens in the auto feeder. I would imagine you can. Would certainly be less than helpful if you can't. Get ourselves some pink ports here. Might as well collect the boom ones while we're here as well. I think I need to slow down the feeders. Put it on slow. They're just not eating as quickly. I, I probably just don't have enough of them in there to make it worth having it on medium speed. There we go, that's enough plorts to do our evolving. Go out and get our farm back up to speed. Or at least almost back up to speed. There we go, that is good. Stop running away. Got some yummy candy for you there, guys. Excellent. Alright. Well, this has been a bit of an exciting episode for reasons that aren't very good, but we're getting back to where we were. Doggone it. This is where you live, okay? Stop trying to escape. Try not to let... Oh, we don't have a place for them. Try not to let 
ports of a different kind get in with the slimes. Otherwise, we will lose our whole farm. But we'll pick up here again, hopefully a less exciting episode and more progress in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.